Welcome to Advon Team Mental Fitness. And uh, my name is Lulu Agbemiga Adikoya. This training is going to be happening within 15 minutes or less. So, and the entire media team and the admin team of Adbond have said that we should allow our Adbond global team training to also to be available for small business owners. And that is why we are launching out our IG Live so that you can also see how the need for team building, team strength, and also for already existing uh, business owners or already existing team to have access to information back to back that they can use to keep the focal strength of the goal that they come together to actually accomplish. So today we are going to be talking about trust, what it takes to build it and why you need to, to, also, to, to also grow it. So, but before we go into the training proper, I'm going to just share a simple story. It takes a football, a football team squad to come out from different, different family, also to come out from different community, also to come out from different uh, states or different nations or continent, depending on the level of football. Maybe it's a local football team, maybe it's a national football team, and then it takes trust between each and every one of them to believe that this guy will pass for me when he gets to a level where I need to score. So now that shows that there are some metrics that are in place that these people are not seeing their different ethnicity, their different the, the background why they come from different family. All those things are not going to be in it. If you take a look at uh, maybe at the European League, you realize that it's people from different diverse background. So during the course of the training, you see the metrics that trust, the role that trust play in securing a team to fully function in order to achieve a common, a common goal. So let's start with the quote. The quote says, trust is end when action meets words in a repeated pattern. Trust is end when action meets words in a repeated pattern. So don't think when you do, when you say something that people need to just trust you immediately. It takes you to back up your words with action before people can now start saying they can trust you. And then you don't even expect that because you do the first one right, they should just trust you at your second time. So you have to keep being at it and then let them be the one to now tell you that now I can trust you. Don't demand for it. You earn it in, in time memorial. So let's go. What is trust? Trust is the firm belief in the reliability, truth, or ability of someone or something. Let me just say it one more time. Trust is the firm belief in the reliability. Can I rely on you? <coughs> what you're saying, is it truthful? And is it in alignment with the ability that you portray? Each and every one of us here at the office, we know where we should position ourselves, even from what Ms. Adebayo has taught us this morning. We know where who to put at the particular strength and who not to put at the particular strength in order to achieve our common our common goal. And this is one of the things that trust is actually defining for us in, in relation to your role in whatever you are doing for an organization to achieve its major goal. So the next one is how do we develop the core for today is how do we develop a trusting a trusting environment and that is when I said there are metrics which we are going to break the word trust into five metrics okay what I think we have the understanding of what vulnerability means your ability to tell somebody I'm not good at this and they are not gonna smile or laugh at you in a shameful in a shameful way but what they can do is Figure out someone else who can do it that you can learn alongside with the person in a short period of time before you know it, then you master what you need to, to keep doing doing right. So the next one is respect. Respect. Immense regard for the abilities 
qualities and achievements of others. See, we, we all have huge qualities. We all have huge things that we have also achieved with our quality. And you know, when you are achieving what you are good at with your qualities, I should not then start being beefing you or try, try to go and speak about you at the back end and then gossip gossip about you that ah, this person will be thinking she's the one that knows how to do it the best. No, it's for me to respect you, give you a lot of accolade, yeah, give you a lot of accolade and then see how we can achieve or learn learn from you. I think there was a time you were around and then you were saying people were asking you how do you sell this, how do you do this? And then you you tell them how you make it work. And that doesn't mean they will even get it. But by the time they practice it back to back, it will help them to also to also achieve it. So the third one is unity of purpose. What is the individuals and that the individual strength that we all have? that we are not going to bring mutually to synergize in the accomplishment of a goal. This is very, very key and this is very, very, very vital and essential. Your individual strength that you bring in that becomes something of mutual to synergize in order to accomplish the purpose of the organization. And that's why at Handbone we have media team, we have HR department, we have admin, we have a creative department, we have our <laughs> Dean of Faculties, <laughs> Mr. Felix and Mr. Levayo. Hey, that those are the Dean of Faculties at Harvard and, and home. So this role of unity of purpose, one person is not trying to do everything that everybody, every department needs to do at a segment, at a segment level. So number four is strength in care. Let's see how when we are in care for a particular project or for a particular thing, don't try to do for others what you are not good at. Do, because by the time, think for example, maybe you, you're trying to, maybe somebody do something wrong and then you're trying to cover up for that person. Can you keep, can you keep up with search? Is that your area of strength? Why not allow that person to do what they need to do right? It's very, very key and it's very, very, it's very, 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 very vital. So number five, we are going to talk about time in action. Time in action means trust itself requires a lot of action in time to be fully, to be fully end. So it is by the time that you give all your effort into what you truly believe that you are good at and then you back it up with your action back to back back to back back to back and then you see how you can definitely hit it to an excellent level you know they say something that everybody don't start excellent if we look at steve joe you hear they start from garage if you hear jack ma you hear they start in there from their living room so and if you see the, the organization they built right now even they built their company like an apple park they call it apple park so so if whatever you are doing right here right now might not look totally excellent it doesn't mean it's not playing a role and because we have the understanding that you will definitely get to on uh, to the level where you can also attain and then achieve excellent as well so my recommendation for today's training is that position yourself in an area where you love Take for example, if we position you in an area that you did not enjoy, feel free to speak to your team lead. Ah, ma, I think I'm not functioning well in this area. And I think if you put me in this area, I think I'll function well. And I'll give a football player that, that is so fascinating to me till date. There's, the name of the guy is called Gareth Bale. He's, he's formerly playing at Tottenham as a defender. But a time came, this guy will leave the defensive part and then go in, go to front and score a goal. And then they change his wing to forward. And since that time, he started scoring goals to the fact that one of the best clubs in the world had to sign him up, which is uh, Real Madrid. So sometimes we are positioned at the wrong place, but let's take the courage either to speak or to go and help other people in that other department and then use your action to speak that 
I see this person going to this department. It's like she's very much interested in this department. Oh, let's give her a try. Oh, has she been helping you guys from that department and then your department is, is getting the result? Okay, go to that department. Let's get another person to, to, to be in your, own, in your own department. Those things are very, very key things that we need to pay close attention to as a team. And then I said, that is why you can never, that is why love can never exist in an environment where there is no trust. Love can never exist in an environment where there is no trust. Position yourself in an area where you love. That is why love can never exist in an environment where there is no trust. So let's have this understanding at the back, at the back of our mind. And then the final conclusion quote says that trust takes years to build, seconds to break, and forever forever to to repair so to all the people on ig thank you so much for being being with us today and if you have one or two questions that you want us to feel free to to drop your questions and also to all our team that are watching on our youtube channel oh we really appreciate you as well so feel free to also put your question on uh, in the, at the comment section at the comment section below Thank you very much for this morning's stream.